From LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings, LA Late. The biggest week that there was continues with another day and a shocker of a day across the board. The details today coming in are huge. We'll have the latest breaking news minutes ago. As earnings recession also continues to grow, why are the earnings recession so bad? All the latest details you need to know into this morning's broadcast from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It came in with another earnings minutes beat and lots of misses. What's going on? Well, the good news is that your benefits are going to go up a lot. All the latest details on that benefits lift. Plus, I'll be going over the latest details of those unemployment surging numbers. What's going on? Well, unemployment surge out of control. In the latest numbers released minutes ago, it's a shocker. Then we have the big details of what's going on with the biggest week that was. It's getting bad. Because why? The Federal Reserve raised interest rates, unemployment surge, and minutes ago, we got the news that we're in a recession. And that, my friends, is why you have to get a forced stimulus check that is in every U.S. state. And as accordingly, we're going to go over those huge monies and why you need to get that big money. Go right in this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Pearl Power Casino VIP. And in this broadcast, we got a lot of money to go over. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, it's Mornings L8, and the news starts right here, right now. And good morning, everybody. The biggest week that was continues with huge news coming in minutes ago. We're in a recession. The announcement came in, and it was exactly as expected. I'll go to the breaking news details from the Department of Labor and why you have to get that forced stimulus check that is in every U.S. state. It's a big broadcast, and you don't want to miss it, and you do not want to miss Afternoon's LA tonight. We'll have a lot of details coming up. In this one day of recordings, but the breaking news starts right here, right now, on a shocker of a morning. We start with the earnings recession, and the numbers coming in minutes ago, and they're not particularly good. What's going on? Let me tell you what's happening on the earnings recessions. When you turn to the rest of the market, we have a mixed bag, but the general consensus is corporate earnings continue to miss as we float into recession. Minutes ago, the Department of Labor announced that we have now entered our third quarter of this year with two quarters of consecutive negative GDP growth. That is a recession. Over a week ago, I had told you that the Atlanta Fed GDP now, a tracking tool that has been around for nearly 30 years, and is a 30-year history of perfect reporting, that they had indicated that the second quarter of GDP growth was negative. Of this economy. A recession is defined as two consecutive quarters of GDP growth negative. The first one was, and the second one, Atlanta Fed GDP now announced over a week ago, was negative as well. But the official announcement was not going to come until this morning. I reported over the last week you need to watch this broadcast, this morning's broadcast today, because this is when we get the announcement that we're in a recession. Good morning. You're in a recession. The breaking news came in minutes ago as the Department of Labor released the announcement that two negative quarters of GDP growth were posted by this U.S. economy this year. The second quarter came in at a 0.9%. That means you're in a defined recession. Now, before I go over more about this later this recording, let me go right in into the reaction to the news. The reaction to the news has been political politicization of the story. Why? Republicans are saying it's not just a recession, it's stagflation. It is prolonged inflation plus a recession, which is actually worse than a recession. Democrats are trying to polarize the story by saying it's not really a recession because with a recession, you have 20 other things that go wrong and those 20 other things haven't gone wrong. It's sort of not really a recession, sort of maybe not. Folks, it's two negative quarters of GDP growth. You've now posted that in this U.S. economy. We are now in a defined recession. And that started July 1, not just today. The recession manifests itself very magnitude-wise in the earnings recession, and those earnings recessions started again this morning. Corporate earnings are a big indication of where we are in this economy because if companies are being hurt by the recession, by inflation, then they post negative second quarter earnings. 
And what have we seen so far? The latest details on L8 are the following. Misses a snap, Twitter, Alphabet, Microsoft, Chipotle. And minutes ago, the earnings misses continued with Facebook. Facebook missed on top and bottom. Top, of course, is revenue and bottom is net income. Missed dramatically. And this is a major story. Story. So now we've had Alphabet, we've had Microsoft, and now we've had Facebook, now Meta, missing on top and missing on bottom. As soon as they announced, guess what also happened? Ford beat. Ford, the automotive company, which I featured a lot, their electric vehicles last year on this channel, really beat majorly. Beat on top, beat on bottom. Let's look at the rest of the market. A lot of stocks actually beat, beat well. And which ones beat? They were the travel and leisure. Hilton beat today. Southwestern Airlines beat. Let's look at the other beats. American Express, Visa, Royal Caribbean. See the, see the trend here? Companies are raising up that debt because you have the credit card debt. Or not you, other viewers. Other people are not viewers of the channel doing credit card debt. Uh, but where were the misses? Best Buy and Black and Decker. Yeah, the the uh, the the tool, the 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 power tool company, down twelve percent at the time of this recording. CEO Doug, Doug uh, Donald Allen says softening in the demand of the environment, significantly slower in the demand in May and June. So there we go. I had told you over the last two weeks we're going into a uh, into an announced recession this morning. I pre first projected a recession. Uh, in February, the first financial broadcaster said it would happen. No one would dare say a recession at the time. The first bank to announce it officially was Deutsche Bank in April. Today, folks, you're waking up to a confirmed recession. That is the first story we're leading with today. In the week that was, the biggest week across the board, the biggest week of the summer, the second major news story came in minutes ago, and it was labor. Did I get two for two today? Did the unemployment numbers surge out of control overnight, and did I get this one right as well? Let's go over those numbers and what we were looking for. We had surged from 166,000 jobless claims in March to 180 four weeks ago, then went to 200. I said we're going to go to 230. We did. Then I said we're going to 260 today, because guess what? Last week it was 251. So what happened with the announcement minutes ago? I had to slow this one down because I blanked when I looked at it. I said, that doesn't make any sense. Last week when they announced it to, on a Thursday, the new jobless claims, they announced 251,000 new jobless claims. You remember that, 251. And I said it was going to go to 260 for today's announcement. So what did they announce today? They announced today the following. Listen carefully because this is an interesting one. This is difficult math. They announced that it fell by 5,000 today to 256. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> No way do you mean it's fell by 5,256. It was 251 last week. That's not a fall. What's, what's going on here? This is where you look at bad news reporting. <laughs> Why? Why was it a fall? Because the Department of Labor minutes ago reassessed last week's number from 251 up to 260, just like I said it was going to happen. They reassessed last num week's number to 261. So I got it right again. That's two for two. It said the 260 wasn't today. It was last week. Reassessed today. Yeah. So today's number was a draw from 261 to 256, but they could still reassess today's number back up. I'm two for two. So far, I predicted the recession being announced today. I predicted the labor numbers projected today. What also did I get two for two? Did I get for three for three? I did. I said that Jay Powell was going to do a 75 basis point increase yesterday, and he did 75 basis point. He did not do 100 basis point. Federal Reserve does not meet in August, so this is going to be really interesting. They're next, next back in September. This, my friends, is why you have to get a force stimulus check that is in every U.S. state. You go right on this video and become a member. Become a member and get these huge checks. Congratulations to the nearly 100 plus viewers who became members overnight because you're going to see, especially especially at the 3 o'clock afternoon show today, why the value ship of membership on this channel went through the roof overnight. I'm going to tease it a little bit more later in this recording. I may cover it in this recording. I may not. I don't think I will, but I'm certainly covering it tonight on afternoons at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Go right on this video become a member. We're going to go over all those incredible checks later in this recording.
As j Powell tries to battle inflation, then what happens with your benefits? Your benefits are going up a lot because inflation is not tracked down. Inflation is still not peaked. Yes, j Powell raised interest rates yesterday, but it's not peaked. So your benefits are going up a lot. How much? SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rural Benefits, and Veterans Benefits, they're going up a lot. And those summer and those numbers across the board are shocking. And let's go over the equation at issue. The equation at issue is that inflation has not tracked downward, and it continues to stay high. As it continues to stay high, then your benefits are going up a lot. Let's look at the numbers, and let's specifically look at what's happening on Friday. Two weeks ago, the CPI was released, and it showed that inflation went higher. Then the PPI was released. It showed it went higher. And then the retail sales also was released, and it went higher. Your benefits are going up a, wa a lot. Why? Because as inflation tracked higher... In the month of June, that is great news because your benefits are going up a not enormous amount. Your inflation was 8.6. It surged to 9.1% in that June read released two Wednesdays ago. That's the CPI. And because of that, your benefits are going up a lot. So what do you and I specifically have to look at in the next 24 hours? We have to look at Friday's announcement of the PCEI. On Friday, the personal income expenditure number, the PCEI, is released, and it's a very important inflationary number. It's the number released between CPIs, and that one is going to give you indication if inflation is still going higher. There's no indication it has now peaked. There's no indication it's gone down. So let's go over the creation. Three months, and what's at issue? Your benefits are tied to something called the CPI, dash W, but let's go over how that works. Your benefits directly are tied to COLA. If COLA goes up, your benefits go up. Not just one month, not just one year, but lifetime. COLA, however, is determined by another number, the CPI-W. Yes, it's a subsection of that CPI, which you just went over. If the CPI goes up, then the CPI-W goes up and your benefits go up. So even though that JPL raised those interest rates yesterday, your benefits will still go up if three more months of numbers come in higher across the board. Let's go over the equation of how this works starting right now. You need to watch the month of July, August, and September on this channel because guess what happens? Guess what happens? If those months track higher, then your benefits go up a lot. It's SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rural Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. Your benefits go up based upon whether those three months track higher. And we'll get the first indication of whether they're going to track higher or stay the same, so really don't go down. You don't want them to go down. When we get that read on Friday, let's go over the calculation right now. The CPI-W released in July, August, and September, released month thereafter, so it's July released in August, August released in September, and September released in October. Determine if your benefits are going up. How much are they going to go up? And whose? Let's go over everything right now. First is you, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. Number two, everyone's benefits going up? Yes. Everyone's benefits are going to go up by the same amount? No. Some of you will go up by 5000 Some of you will go up by less. Some of you will go up exactly around 5000 Third, the same percentage lift? Yes. Everyone's benefits are going to have the same lift across the board. It's absolutely incredible. That's why you want to celebrate. The biggest lift we've ever seen in the generation, it's happening on this channel. And that's why we have to watch Friday's number released tomorrow. I'll have it potentially on this live broadcast tomorrow morning to go over that PCEI with you across the board. That's why you have to get a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. You got to get a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state because we're in a recession. You got to get a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state because inflation is tracking higher. And as these data points continue to come on in, why do you want to get this big money? Because the money's right now. Go under this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cow, Casino VPIP. In the second half of this video, we'll go over these incredible checks one at a time. But first, let's go over some of the issues about the money starting right now. These big sums of money were done by the President of the United States by executive action in the month of March. And these huge checks are absolutely incredible. Here's what you need to know about these big sums of money right now. These monies are absolutely incredible. First, 
how much? Approximately $100,000 across the board. It's for stimulus done by a series of executive actions by the President of the United States back in the month of March. How do you get these big sums of money? Coming up in the second half of this video. Several checks that amount to about $100,000. You qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, go get it. Passed by the executive action of Joseph Biden in the month of March, you get these big checks. They're coming up in the second half of this video. You qualify across the board. A report released by Morgan Stanley's chief, uh, chief um, individual yesterday did not paint a good picture for this economy. And that is why you have to get a, a membership right on this channel right today. That announcement by that individual said it's a trap. A trap? What trap? He basically says that the Federal Reserve is going to continue to raise those interest rates and may be setting this up for a major trap and they won't get out of it. Let me tell you what he said minutes ago. This is a big big quote and I'm not, I'm not paraphrasing it. Morgan Stanley, Mike Wilson's former uh, firm's chief U.S. equity strategist and chief investment officer. So this is a big wig. This is a big top guy. Says the market always rallies on the Fed on the once the Fed stops hiking until the recession begins. But it's unlikely that there's going to be much of a gap between this and the end of the Fed hiking and the recession. Ultimately, this will be a trap. <laughs> now I got to correct myself. The quote was not minutes ago. The quote was Wednesday. And since Wednesday, obviously, you know you're in a session. So people think that the Federal Reserve, according to Wilson, would stop doing what it's doing after we get into a session. No, he says you're going to a recession before they stop. He's right. In fact, I've been projecting that for several months on this channel. And you know that right now. Because again, the morning, this morning we lead with the Department of Labor announced in the second quarter of this U.S. economy was negative GDP growth. That's two consecutive quarters. That's a recession. You're in a recession. And the Federal Reserve just spiked interest rates yesterday as well. That's why you have to get these four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. One of the great benefits of being a member is the Allied Worksheets. They are in the membership newsletter. And one viewer got the surprise of a lifetime. It's not a surprise that's unique to her because it's happening all the time, all the time on this channel. She got an alert last Thursday as a member who uses the worksheets that she got approved for upwards of 80 to 100 checks, four stimulus checks, for her and her family. Let's go over the incredible story in just a second. The LA worksheets are in the membership newsletter down by the third line. It's a PDF you can print out or save or open on your cell phone or computer. And the first page of that wonderful PDF, we know a lot about things going on today. And what do we know about the items at issue? First, we, as to inflation, we know that the Federal Reserve is trying to battle it. And they're not doing a pretty particularly good job. Inflation is not peaked. And we're looking at that PCEI number on Friday. Recession. What do we know about recession? What I told you, we're going to recession. I was the first to say it would happen. The announcement came this morning. I said it would come this morning. And <laughs> here's where you have to have a laugh. we got to have a laugh on this one. Earlier this week, I told you that some analysts were saying the, the, the GDP number on Thursday will be positive growth, not negative growth. And I kept on saying, where's that nonsense coming from? I want to see your facts. I want to see what you're basing that nonsense on. Well, <laughs> the, the GDP number came in. It was negative. It was negative. I don't know where some of these analysts are coming up with this pure nonsense on a regular basis. There was nothing that would indicate that there was going to be a positive GDP number today. And yet they were running that story. And I don't mean one analyst. I mean a lot of them. Labor. I said we're going to go to 260. We went to 261. But it wasn't this week. It was last week, which was reassessed up. And yet today was 256. So it still went up across the board. Federal Reserve. What did we learn? 75 basis point yesterday. Not meeting in August, back in September. What are they going to do then? I'm projecting they're going to do 75 again. Yeah, Wall Street's saying 50 today. I don't think they're going to do 50. I, I think they're going to come back in September. They will not have done anything in August. And I think they're going to look and see, wait a second, this inflation's still high. Remember, they want 2% inflation. And I was the first to say they're never going to get 2% inflation. Guess what everyone, their sister, brother, analyst, bank, everyone is saying? They're never going to get 2% inflation. It's just never going to happen, yet Jay Powell keeps on saying it. Uh, that is the benefits of that first page of the worksheet. Now, the second page of the worksheet is the big, great news. That second page of the worksheet has the table. This is all LA proprietary. You're not going to see this anywhere else. The second page of the worksheet 
has the wonderful table for four stimulus. Has you keep track of all the places you're applying for checks. Because you're going to be applying for dozens of checks. Dozens and dozens of checks. And that second page has check A, check B, check C's, lots of them. Date you applied, where you applied, who you applied for, how much. Here's what happened with one viewer. A week ago today, she went to her computer, she signed in, she got an email. Said, ma'am, you've been approved for check B. She's in Florida. Check B, it wasn't just one check B. She got 18 months of her mortgage approved for. 18 months of her mortgage. Folks, that's not $10,000. That's tens of thousands of dollars. And she wasn't done there yet. In addition to check B, she also got, in addition to her mortgage, she also got all her utilities. All her utilities being paid for for 18 months. Folks, let's do the math. Most people have four utilities. Four utilities plus mortgage, that's five checks per month. Five checks per month for 18 months. That's nearly 100 checks she's getting because she became a member to this channel. It's not a unique story. It happens every day on this channel, and it could happen to you as well. Why would you not do it? Become a member. Go on this video. Become a member. Then... Later that, earlier this week, Spelling, another long-time viewer, he got the message that really changed his day as well. The message was he was approved for check A. He was approved for check A. Incredible, but it didn't stop there yet because he got check C for nearly 12 months approximately as well, or several other checks for about 12 months. That is why you want to become a member. Keep track of your incredible applications on that second page of the newsletter, of the worksheets. Then we have the huge third page, which you keep track on your ratio of your benefits. We're looking at those three numbers of CPI, but we're specifically looking at Friday's PCEI. Keep notes on this because we want to see if your benefits, how much, what percentage they're going up across the board. On Amy's Alley tonight, we'll go over the next two pages, which are student loan debt forgiveness and gasoline. What a day it is. Confirmed two negative quarters of GDP growth. I said it was going to happen. It happened. It happened sooner than many people thought it would happen. But that is upon us right across the board. It's the week that it was. The biggest week of the entire summer. A credible, credible announcement of two negative quarters of GDP growth posted by this economy. Never done this in nearly a generation. That is a defined recession. What's also happening? The earnings recession. Earnings recession, as lots of companies are missing, but some companies are still beating. Whether it's Ford, whether it's travel and leisure, some companies are still doing really well in this economy, while other companies are not doing particularly well. Labor, labor numbers surging to levels that they should not be at. 260,000, well, here's a message about labor, which I forgot to mention earlier. Let me bring it right in here. Jay Powell, when addressing the dual mandate of the Federal Reserve yesterday, which is maximum employment and price stability, which is no inflation, said that labor will get hurt by him trying to keep inflation under control. That's why you have to get a forced to most check in every U.S. state, because people are going to get laid off. 260000 is just now. 256 is just now. It's going to potentially get worse. The trap is upon us. And on Afternoons LA tonight, we have a big shocker. On Afternoons LA tonight, the 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time show for July 28th, 2022, you need to watch the final five minutes. On Afternoons LA today at 3 o'clock, you need to watch the final five minutes. Why? As I teach you in the second half of this video, Nisi, Lorraine, Johnny, Margaret, they don't miss any videos because there's so much going on on a given day. You can tell just in this video, you cannot miss breaking news. And sometimes the breaking news is so bizarro that it sometimes should not be repeated. That news is bizarro. It's hideously important. It's perhaps one of the most important five minutes you're ever going to see in a condensed in a condensed time. It's today on Afternoons L8 at 3 p.m. Don't miss it. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over those hundred thousand dollars approximately for stimulus checks in every U.S. state. You're going to see on Afternoons L8 tonight why your membership has now become so much more valuable in less than 24 hours. You're going to learn why your membership has become so much more important in the last 24 hours because there's checks here. There's always checks here. 
there's always going to be my ability to find U checks left and right because that is how we win. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over all those incredible huge checks left and right that you can get approximately $100,000 financial situation not getting particularly good we're going to go over all those details in the big second half become a member stay with me i'll be back with you in 60 seconds as america's most loved show in the morning continues it's morning's out light but first become a member and i'll see you back in 60 seconds as the news coverage continues if you want money right now not five days from now and not five weeks from now then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the biggest week that there was continues throughout the day. Jump in the live stream because there's breaking news every hour on the hour on LA. Did you become a member during the commercial break? I hope you did because in this big second half, we're going to go over all these incredible checks across the board. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Hour, Calcino VIP as we go over all these incredible checks starting right now. Later today on Evenings LA, we have a lot coming up. We have the Apple and Amazon earnings after the bell. Of course, we have Comcast. And even we have Hershey's chocolate. <laughs> a lot of deliciousness there. And then, of course, tomorrow morning on this broadcast, we'll have the personal income expenditure spun PCEI, if not on afternoons, if it's released later in the day. But let's get to those incredible checks starting right now. With a recession now underway, with inflation now at its all-time high, with un unemployment at the highest levels of the entire year, you got to get these four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. And they became law back in March. Four stimulus is the numbering system I use on this channel. It's not relying upon anyone else's numbering system. It's a way I keep track of the different items I've covered for you over this channel's history in which I've gotten you $50 million. These checks were done by the President of the United States back in the month of March. At the time, viewers said, hey, they haven't gotten that Build Back Better Act done. Can you give me some checks? I looked and I found them. A series of executive actions from the President of the United States. And there will be more executive actions because there always are. And these are huge checks, approximately $100,000. And they are incredible. I had a two focuses for you. One, big checks, because I care about you. I want to make sure you get through this recession. Number two, I want to make sure broad eligibility. $100,000 approximately. Number two, you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get it as well. And third, I want to make it very simple. A concise, written-out newsletter delivered to you so you can go in and apply. Let's go over all those incredible checks starting right now. The first check is check A. It's a $6,500 to $12,000. Four stimulus check in every U.S. state. And you want to get this incredible check across the board. And it is so simple. $6,500 to $12,000 is the homeowner's grant. This is the grant. This is the check that Spelly got. Single individual, $75,000 less. Go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less. Go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get this incredible check? Go into the membership on the video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Then get that incredible membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. Go down to check A and pounds and go get it. But you're not done there yet. You're going to go get check B. 
15 to 80,000. This is what that viewer got nearly 100 checks from. In many cases, even more than 80,000. Seeing the video, 75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, 150,000 less, go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it as well. Step one, join this channel. Step two, get that incredible membership newsletter and go down to check B and apply. Go get those big sums of money. You're not done there yet because guess what? That's already $100,000 between check B at 80, check A at 12. Go get check C. Many viewers have gotten over $150,000 from check C. Countless viewers have averaged at 45000 and a lot have gotten $2,000 a month over 12 months. Incredible sums of money. It is for rent, utilities, mortgage, and this is more. How do you get it? Step one, join the channel. Step two, get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time by, via the YouTube alerts. Go right down to you see check C and go get these big sums of money. Tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. The success stories for Check C have been on this channel for a while because this is the residue of third stimulus. Do you want these monies for rent like Nisi, Richard, Nancy, Mark, Elizabeth? Then go get Check C. How about utilities? You want Angela or Mark or Nancy's numbers? Go get Check C. Mark's about the lock at 15000 He's also getting $100,000, $250,000 over 10 years for SNAP. Do you want these numbers for combinations of Check C's? Then go get Check C's. Nisi went from 23000 to 50000 Mark went from 32000 to 166000 Yeah, that's a big jump. Mark went from this graphic to this graphic to then got 100000 then went to 166 with check B. Lorraine, she was at 105 and then she went to 150 What's the consistent message between Lorraine, Johnny, Margaret, and Nisi? The consistent message is, one, keep on getting checks, and two, don't miss a video. They're in all the live chats. They're in all the live chats, and you cannot miss a single video. Here's a case example. <laughs> I actually use the case example tonight. The 3 o'clock afternoon show at the final five minutes, you cannot miss it. Because guess what? I actually say I'm never going to repeat it because I don't want to repeat it. I don't want to repeat it. It's a breaking news story. It happened minutes ago, and it just makes no sense. And if I can't make sense of something and I can't explain it to you, all I can deliver to you is the news. I can't even... I can't give analysis to it. I just have to say, here's the news. Go listen to it. If you miss that show, it may re-air, but I'm never going to re-say it again. And you're going to say, whatever happened to it? Can't miss a broadcast. Can't miss a broadcast. And I know people are going to say, whatever happened? Can't miss that broadcast. It's the final five minutes of Afternoon's LA today at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. They're in all the live chats. There's always something happening. Labor, just what we saw with that labor number. Labor went down 5,000 to 256. It was 251 last week. That's up. How does that go down? Mm -hmm. That's what you can as a broadcast. Is. These things are sometimes need to be explained, and I'm not going to continually explain something that was yesterday's news. We're going on to the next story. Uh, recession, we're already in a recession, so I'm not going to announce that we, hi, you entered a recession. The announcement's this video. Mm -hmm. And throughout the day. <laughs> So that's why you can't miss a single video. Number two, they are consistently getting checks. Get a check today, get another check, get another check, get another check. That's why I tell Spally. That's why I told the viewer that got 18 checks. No, 80 checks, 90 checks. Keep on getting checks, keep on getting checks. What do you need to do? Number one, go into this video, subscribe. If you're watching LA, the number three most watched financial news channel in America, expanding dramatically. The viewership has been manifesting itself. Numbers are way up on this channel. You see the 24 hour a day, seven days a week a live show, expanding from just a few hours of live. It's now 24 hours a day. You may be watching right now. You see LLA.com changing its coverage of news stories, the print edition, the online edition, to now featuring your money. And you see the two new channels joining this family. This is the company, this is the family, this is the news you want. Become a member. Subscribe under the video, join the channel, then go to the first channel, hit that bell to make sure all notifications set to all on. You don't want to miss an alert. And then um, get that incredible membership newsletter. Let's jump in that membership newsletter right now to make sure you understand everything that's at issue. That incredible membership newsletter is delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alerts. First, you need to know your time zone. It's 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Sent via the YouTube alerts. The YouTube alerts are sent to you, and what does an alert look like? This is a YouTube alert. Says it's from YouTube. Title of the alert is for members only new LA posts. It's sent via email, this one. It says it's from YouTube. The first line of the alert, written by me, is new 
mem is membership newsletter today with four mailbox emojis. See the time, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Know your time zone. You go down the alert. You go down the alert past the guy at the surfboard, down, 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 to where it says a view post, past that guy. There's a button below him that says view post. Click the button view post and it sends you right into the membership newsletter. You're ready to rock and roll. So simple. Go get that incredible newsletter today and get that financial freedom. You deserve this money. Go get it across the board. The biggest summer that was continues today on this channel because guess what? Housing numbers were released yesterday. I'll have more about those housing numbers on evenings. The housing numbers showed were about the price of homes. The price of homes fell. So this is the latest bad housing number. Has it been a good housing number? No, there's been no good housing number on this channel for nearly a month. Tonight on Evenings LA, we got a lot coming up because it's still not in, and I will have those details in with you. I'll have more analysis on the miss on the earnings by Meta, Alphabet, Twitter, Face, and um, and Microsoft. But after the close, we're going to have Apple and Amazon report earnings. So I will have that in that recording. We will have Anheuser-Busch and Harley Davidson or Hershey reporting earnings. Then we'll have some potentially some guidance for that PCEI, which is 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Friday, which I will certainly have on air by the time this show airs tomorrow, if not the noontime show. And finally, let me go over reaction by the market to all the news, because that's a lot of news. And let me give you my analysis of it as well. First, when you look at the stock market, in the stock market, we have some analysts saying that they regret not buying at the lows of June and that they fear that that opportunity will not come back. This is why you don't listen to analysts. <laughs> this is why you don't listen to analysts. Because if you look at a lot of the stocks that I told you missed in that graphic of missed, their stocks are like this. They're they're, today is their all-time low. So to say that June was their all-time low, that's not their all-time low, the 52-week well, the low. Their 52-week low is today. <laughs> Listen to June. So yeah, there's just a few stocks that were down and June came back up. So ignore those analysts. Number two, analysts that think that the Federal Reserve's last interest rate spike was yesterday are the same analysts that said that in the month of May. They just want to sell you happy uh, balloons and Care Bears every day of the week. It's just the Federal Reserve is going to spike again. They're not done spiking. No, no viewer believes that. Number three, the housing analysts are continually saying, uh, we see something good somewhere. Are the same people that take the, the alphabet, the Microsoft, the Twitter, the Snap earnings reports that are bad, 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 and they look down Below, they look somewhere in the report and they see one number in the report that says, oh, is up. I love the whole report. You're just looking for good news. You're looking for a needle on how stack. That's not how you analyze the situation. Top revenue, miss, miss. Net profit, miss. Excuse me, top is revenue, bottom is, is earnings. Miss, miss, then it's a miss. I mean, you can't, you can't spin two misses. Number three, you're having Democrats and Republicans politicize the term recession like you've never seen it before. We haven't seen this since Mitch McConnell in 2020. The Democrats are saying it's not a recession, it's not a recession. It, it is, it is, it is. You do not, because you're the party in control, you don't get to redefine the term to recession. That's not how it works. Uh, you have the Democ you have the Republicans then trying to say that it's worse than a recession, it's stagflation, it's this and that. Um, it's not really stagflation yet because the inflation is coming down, uh, uh, presumably, and that uh, and, and that stagflation has to, has to presume that you have both recession and inflation over the entire duration. We do know that we're going to have recession for a long time to come. We don't know that we're going to have inflation continually. <laughs> what am I doing, the folk? <laughs> We don't know the quick I mean, inflation going. I'll do it with the finger. Going straight up. Yeah, I was doing the vote. <laughs> I was trying to show it up finger, up hand. I'll just, I'll just, yeah, well, okay. <laughs> so, politicizing economic terms, not going to happen here. Not going to happen here. But they're doing it everywhere. And when you hear it, you can smell it. It's very, very apparent across the board. Finally, what am I projecting for earnings uh, reports later today? Let's just have some fun. Let's have some fun. Let's see if I get this one as right as well. 
Uh, after the bell, we have a couple of companies reporting corporate earnings, and they are Amazon and Apple. Do I believe misses? Uh, I believe that Amazon will be at least one miss on either top or bottom. And Apple is really hard to tell. I think that um, the consumer staples like um, Harley Davidson is probably going to be beep, beep, beats. And I think, you know, Hershey's may be beep, 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 because that's what we're seeing. We're seeing retail miss. We're seeing tech miss, travel and leisure beat, uh, and hospitality beat, and also pharmaceuticals like a Bristol Myers Squid, things like that, beat. So it's very, 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 very evident what's happening in this sort of bifurcation of the market. Let's see if we get it right. <laughs> we'll watch it tonight on Eating to LA. From the shores of San Marco, California, God bless. Hope you have a beautiful morning. Go on to this video and become a member. And we got a lot going on this week. It's just getting started. The biggest week that there was. Stay with me. Go on to this video. Become a member. Be part of this channel. You're going to see tonight why membership on this channel, membership on this channel has now valued so much, has gone up in so much in value in just less than 24 hours. You'll learn about that more later today. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Have a beautiful morning and stay throughout the day with LA for more. <laughs>